Hi Gemini, welcome to your week ahead horoscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. How was your week? How was last week for you? I know it was a little bit crazy, especially in the middle there <laughs> for me as well. Uh, so let me know in the comments, how how was this week for you? How did it go down? Anyway, with that said, remember these are general readings. Not everything's gonna resonate with everybody. That is just fine. Use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so if you are continued subby you know Rafi loves you if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like share and if you should so choose and it resonates hit the subscribe button for your key to the week this week you have your card the magician and I love this for you because this card actually represents Mercury, your ruling planet, and Mercury, as you know, by the end of this week is going to be direct and no longer stressing us out, which means everything's your fault once more. <laughs> that being said, um, it also, remember with the Magician card, this shows up when the power really does rest in your hands, right? This is really saying to you that in all of these different areas of your life this week, you have the chance to affect real change. You are in charge you are in the driving seat you have that you got the power really showing my age now with that one but uh you know um the other thing with the magician card as well it does so a lot of the time this card can talk about being at the height of or at the peak of your game which means that in some of these areas particularly in career you could have a peak moment this week there's something that could really shape up for you very nicely that maybe helps you feel like you know what i feel like i'm more in control in some regard now for your uh, actions and options you've got the king of pentacles so this could be you interacting so funnily enough aside from a person the king of pentacles is a promotion card it usually shows up for promotions uh, pay rises or when you you've made a move or you're making a move that could be considered like a, a fucking boss move right you've got this in your actions and options which means that whatever you are doing you are being seen this week as the person to go to. You are being seen, you're being respected, you're being sort of counted upon in some way to deliver the goods. So I absolutely love this for you. You're making a boss move in some way. When it comes to those of you that are, um, sorry, when it comes to the options that are available to you this week, there are options to get ahead and also to solidify something on a financial level for yourself. So I'm totally, totally here for this. Now, when it comes to your communications and conversations you've got the star card right so anywhere that you are interacting with people on a communicative level which is what you do best especially when it comes to things like websites radio tv film podcasts especially if you're thinking about starting a podcast this could go very very well for you uh, if you have a podcast you might get uh, a confirmation from a really big guest or somebody that you've really wanted to bring on to to what you do right i love this for you there is not only you know is are things looking good in the current sort of situation it also suggests that in your like the future of your work your career your profession looks fantastic this is a great week actually to spruce up the website it's a great week to reconfigure your social message or even your social branding in some way. For those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, the star card, it's like this week you finally see how you're going to be able to take everything that you're learning right now and really put it into what you're doing, right? Into like, where is this actually going to go? For those of you that are employed by somebody else, the star card is wonderful because it means Means that not only are you being seen as like this top spot sort of person, it also looks like you're securing your future within the organization that you're in. And this may come as, a, you know, not as a surprise, but you might be kind of like, oh, you know, I wasn't actually expecting this now, maybe a year from now or whatever. There's something here that suggests that you've, you've fast tracked this. So I love that for you. And then for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, get your message out. 
in whatever way, shape or form you possibly can. I don't care how it has to happen. I don't care what you have or haven't got available to you. Do not waste energy like this, right? You've got to get out there. If you want to heal a relationship, a professional relationship as well, this would be the week to do it, right? There is, it's under a full moon, right? Don't forget on the third, uh, it's not the 23rd, on the 20th, um, it's like the 24th and the 25th, give or take, right? We got full moon. And so you want to milk this, right? Because it's like, yes, it might come with like a, okay, I got to talk about this. You got to talk about this. Let's be really honest with each other about where we're at and then move forward. But there can be a profound healing that takes place that really cements your, your uh, professional future in some regard, all right? So I'm here for it. When it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working, this looks like you doing all of the paperwork, the documentation, all of the unsexy stuff, unfortunately, but for your future. Maybe you are writing out your will this week. Maybe you are putting in place, you know, the fancy care home that you want to go to. Maybe you're transferring the house and the deeds and all the rest of it over to your kids now so that they don't have to pay inheritance tax. Whatever the case might be, right? You're doing something, for those of you that are retired and no longer working for any reason, you're putting things in place now that directly impact your future. Um, and it really, you know, this is stuff that's going to be a long while to come because the star card is like 17 to 21 years. So there's nothing here like it's not to say like oh my gosh Rafa you saying we're going to keel over early or anything no nothing like that at all it's just kind of like you're doing it now so that it doesn't become a problem later and I can give you an example from this so many of you know recently uh, my nana passed and for years me and my sister begged her right her and my, my granddad like please you know downsize get yourself a nice little bungalow go on cruises and holidays and you know just go and do that right because they have a they've got they had a townhouse and you know the stairs by the end of it they're just you know it's just not it's just not the one this would be something along those lines as well it's like you're putting things in place now before they become an issue later on all right for your uh, love and relations you've got the two of swords for those of you that have needed or sought out some form of justice this week I actually think it shows up right so for those of you that are partnered married or in long-term commitments maybe you've had an issue that you collectively as a partnership have had to deal with this week it could come good right you could get the correspondence that you know what this is going to come it's going to come in your favor now one thing that i will that sounds so day <laughs> uh, is that what they're calling it these days um sorry <sighs> oh there are sometimes i really do try to to just yeah anyway for um also, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, remember the Two of Swords can sometimes show up as an opposition. And if you and your partner have, and that's what this feels like, it's like you and your partner have collectively been battling with or against something. And this week you get the news that, like, it, it's kind of, not even that it's passed, but it's it comes round, right? It comes round in your favour and you can kind of step back from it and say, okay... I know how to proceed from here. When it comes to those of you that are single and looking, quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if a friend... So this looks like for some of you, maybe somebody that you had like a friendship with had kind of, you know, said to you, look, I really like you. I want to go for coffee. And you were like, no, I don't want to ruin the friendship and all the rest of it. And maybe this week you're coming round. Maybe, you know, maybe they backed off and said, OK, you know what? Cool. No problem. I respect that. And with that time and space, you've had time to think about it. And now you're like, huh? Yeah, actually, you know what? You've 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 maybe they gave you what you needed to realize that you had feelings for them. Very possible for your uh, before we get into your money and materials. 
I just want to say my tarot course is going is live now, right? So you can get that on the link in the description box below. Enrollment is open from the 18th of the month right through to the 30th. Now, um, I know what you're thinking, Raf, I've got kids, what am I gonna do? No problem. We start on the 5th of May and we will be finished by the sorry about that itchy nose thing. We'll be finished by the 21st of uh, July, which means you've got the whole of summer, you can get the wine out, you can get your cards out, you can do your thing with your friends. All of that good stuff you're going to get 12 weeks with me minimum of three hours per class on top of that you get five bonus videos you've got more pdfs than you can shake a stick at uh, as if that wasn't enough you're going to get live client practice live demos uh, trust me i have put everything into this course it's one of my favorite things to teach and i have refined it and refined it and refined it to the point where i'm so happy with it um, unfortunately, this is the last time that I'll be able to teach this course this year because I've got some other really great stuff that I want to bring you guys and I'm really excited for. And also worth mentioning as well, um, for your... Oh gosh, come on brain. Um, there is a payment plan as well. Uh, and if that wasn't enough, I only take up to and including, well, up to 20 people for each course. I want to be able to give you individual attention. I want to get to know you. I really want to do my best to support you from literally that foundational level right the way through to, um, you know, the, I would say about intermediate. If you're super advanced in your tarot reading, this probably isn't the course for you. All right. Anyway, for your money and materials, remember, you can get that on the link in the description box below. For your money and materials, you've got the five of wands. OK, so five of wands can potentially be a dispute. Right. It can also be a challenge or a conflict. And with this opposite, the two of swords, whatever this challenge is it, that's been within a relationship, uh, for those of you that are newly dating as well, it could be a financial issue that, you know, causes the, the challenge. Now, because you've got this with the Magician card, anywhere that you've had paperwork, documentation or, you know, financial considerations of a contractual nature going on, this week actually could go a long way to seeing this come to a close. But it does suggest that the Five of Swords is kind of, the Five of Wands, sorry, is saying you got to take all of the voices and order them, categorize them and take out the ones that are making the most sense because at the moment it's too much information. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is going to be your back and your spine, especially for those of you that have had problems with your back, like your mid to upper back. I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but this week I would say go to a chiropractor or an osteopath or even an acupuncturist. This week you could get some really good results because you could be seeing a specialist, that would be the magician. And then finally, when it comes to your home and environment, your five of wands, one, this could be construction or work that you're doing on or with the home. And with the star card in tow, it also potentially shows up as a, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Yeah, like with the star card, it potentially shows up as a, like, this might actually be a really good time to do some marketing, especially digital email you know out there on the web etc like if you've got anything that requires that this is the time to get your market in on point all right with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon